Hello everyone and welcome to the House of Wellness Christmas Special. We're celebrating a wellness Christmas with you. Look what we've got for you! Yes, we have the best Christmas ideas for everyone. This is the perfect product. Well, you know, all that kissing underneath the mistletoe. We're singing, we're cooking, and we're even meeting Santa. Hello, James. So join us as we all get together in our house of Christmas wellness. We'll show you how to take the stress out of Christmas, and it's easier than you think. And usually we have lots of cousins here as well, so it's pretty chaotic. Come on, Fernando, let's get these gifts under the tree before everyone arrives. And for some last minute gift ideas, Zoe and I have found some awesome gifts for you guys. This is a perfect gift idea. I got one of those then. Plus, some people do it really tough this time of the year, so I'm going to show you how you can help. Um, I volunteer because it's a really good way to um, get in contact with my community. And every family and their dog head away for the holidays, so I'm going to show you how to stay safe. Just swim within your ability. Most important, swim between the flags. And we'll have great food and great friends dropping in, like Paris Hilton, Michael Clark, Joe Stanley and Mark Barretta. Plus a special Christmas gift for everyone from Kerry ann Kennelly. So for Christmas, get well, stay well, live well... And look festive... ...on the House of Wellness. Oh, 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 oh. Well, everyone's here, Zoe. Yes, they are. Hey, you know what I love about Christmas? What? The traditions. Oh, I love the traditions. Yep. You know, one of my favourites mm -hmm. is just overindulging all that beautiful food and no. lazing around and hoping no. anyone will clean it up but me. Not the traditions I was thinking of. I meant more along the lines of gathering with family and friends, giving each other gifts. Yes, yes. Really important traditions, mm -hmm. as our own James Tobin will explain. Let's be honest, this is a frantic, hectic time of year. But when we finally get to Christmas, it's a chance to relax and unwind, spend quality time with family and friends. And I think traditions are a large part of why this part of the year is so special. That warmth, that sentimentality, that nostalgia. And when you've got a next generation coming through, we get to teach or continue those traditions with them. Like coming and getting the traditional Santa photo. Hello, mate. Merry Christmas, Santa. Hello, James. According to child and adolescent psychologist Dr Fiona Martin, there may be genuine benefits from taking part in Christmas traditions. Children need and thrive on routine, and so traditions are kind of like that. And having a routine and having a tradition, like uh, visiting Santa Claus or, you know, sitting down for Christmas lunch and that whole gift-giving thing is really important for children. Look at me! Yay! And, of course, a great Aussie tradition is having your picture taken with Santa, like these kids at Westfield Chatswood in Sydney. What an exciting day, Liam's first ever Santa photo. Yeah. Is this something that you did as a kid? Yeah, I wanted to, to do it every year for him as well. It's like any tradition, James. If it's something that's good, then it should be continued, I think. Yes, James, look at me. Sitting down in front of the telly to watch the Boxing Day test is another great Aussie Christmas tradition. And one guy who knows all about that is ex-Australian cricket captain Michael Clark. Optional training every Christmas morning. So some players would go to that, some players wouldn't. I went every year. Um, and then every lunch, they would put on a big spread for, for all the players and their partners or wives for Christmas Day. Now that Michael's retired from cricket and has his own family, his Christmases are different. It's exciting for me this year because Christmas has been such a, a big tradition in my family. We'd wake up together as our mum, dad, my sister and I, and then we would go to one of our cousins' house. And it was just an absolute food and sport-a-thon. Michael now continues a tradition of decorating the Christmas tree a special way with his wife, Kylie, a tradition passed on through her family. She can't put the star up unless we do it together. So both of us trying to stand on a chair to get to the top <laughs> of the tree to put this on like, sweetie. And it's being passed on to their two-year-old daughter. Kylie and Kelsey Lee <laughs> should put the star on the tree New this year. New tradition. I'll hold the chair. <laughs> Michael Gray and his family started a tradition of putting up Christmas lights at their home 17 years ago. And their place has become a must-see every year. 
We decided to buy two sets of Christmas lights, um, which we hung on the front of the house back then, and um, it's since evolved to what you see behind us. We have over 100,000 Christmas lights. We have around 12,000 people attend each year, and many of those, it's their family's tradition to keep coming back. Michael's been collecting donations since 2008 and has raised $80,000 for the Cure Brain Cancer Foundation, Humpty Dumpty Foundation and Red Nose. I think the moral of today's story is just get involved. It's Christmas time. So from me, Merry Christmas. Thanks, James. We all know kids love Christmas, but what do they really think of it? I sat down with a few experts to get some insights on what they want and what they really think of the big man, Santa. I bet you've thought about this. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, uh, I got 14 things. Um, a toy bow and arrow. A cookbook. A dog. Monopoly Australia. I want to vomit, so Santa makes you vomit. Le Toilet. Let me ask you this. Is Christmas good for your health? Um, uh, yes. You can ask for fruit mm -hmm. or veg. No. No. Do you think that could be why Santa is a little bit fat? He eats too much cookies. Really fat. Why? Because <laughs> he's fat. He's fat fat because everyone leaves cookies and milk. For Santa. He eats the foil of mince pies as well. And there is, it even is proof on Google that Santa's real. Christmas is coming. <laughs> Elsa. <laughs> if you were going to write a Christmas song that would make all the kids in the world happy, what do you think it would be about? Christmas is coming. Christmas, 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 Christmas is coming. Um, elves and Superman singing the tree, farting out snowballs. <laughs> OK, for anyone that's yet to do their Chrissy shopping, it's time now for Fernando's Fab Five at Christmas, featured in our very own House of Wellness gift guide. So, Zoe, the first product I was actually thinking for Christmas to gift ideas, it's actually Dr. Lewin's Eternal Youth. Yes. It's Fantastic. absolutely amazing. It's actually got a, a foaming cleanser and a day and night cream, so I think it's actually a perfect intro to, to skincare. Well, that's for, what for I was going to say. When you don't know what to get somebody, and it is skincare, is this gentle enough and, and a nice product for... Your, your, the women in your life to introduce them to. I mean, as it says, it's eternal youth, so it's just it's Ooh. just a really nice intro into uh, into skincare. So Zoe, another gift idea that I absolutely love are these Nude by Nature brushes. Yes. I think every woman needs brushes for life, and uh, these are absolutely perfect. And I think it's really important for the women out there to know that you should be using a makeup brush sometimes when we use our fingers. There's bacteria and nasties and oils that can move around the makeup. Absolutely. Now, a great set of brushes needs a great foundation. And number three on our list is Nude by Nature's Flawless Foundation. It's long wearing and feels like a second skin. So, Zoe, uh -huh. I've got another one for us. And this time around, it's actually a hair straightener. Okay. The great thing about it, it actually moisturises your hair without burning it. No which way. Which is absolutely perfect. Perfect for the stocking. Exactly. I think you need a fragrance for this Christmas. I love a fragrance for Christmas. How about a little bit of Paris Rosé Rush? Yes, a little bit of Paris Hilton. What about your Paris Hilton trivia? Try me. OK. Is Nikki Hilton Paris Hilton's sister true or false? True. You got it. <laughs> Rosé Rush is actually Paris Hilton's 23rd fragrance. Whoa. Um... If you can believe it. <laughs> I'm going to go true. You're right. You're actually oh right. God, you are. Really? You win yeah. it. Yeah. Stop That's it. That's all yours. Okay. Is Paris Hilton's dogs named Foxy Cleopatra? True or false? Oh, she has so many dogs. I'm going to go true. No. Darn it. It's false. So close. Is her catchphrase, that's hard, true or false? Definitely true. Definitely. Definitely. Excuse me, miss. What's your uh, Paris Hilton trivia like? I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I know it all. You know it all? <laughs> I want to talk about Rosé Rush. It is a beautiful feminine scent, but it is supposed to invoke ambition, confidence. Why was this so important to you for this fragrance? I just feel like when a woman puts a perfume on, you want to feel confident, beautiful, sexy, you want to get attention from guys. And Rosé Rush just it does it. 
And then the bottle is just so sexy, so it's like having a piece of art in your home. Christmas is all about traditions. Is there any family traditions that you absolutely love? My mom and I are very close. Uh, last Christmas I got her this really gorgeous Christian Louboutin purse. It's like the clutch, but it's all covered in Swarovski crystal. Oh, wow. She's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Later, healthy care ambassador and TV royalty Kerry Ann Kennelly has a special Christmas surprise for you. We show how giving, not receiving, is really the best part of Christmas. And I'll be showing you how to de stress your Christmas. So if you love Christmas, stay with us. Merry Christmas to Ed and Zoe and all the team at House of Wellness. To the House of Wellness team, thank you for having me throughout the year. Merry Christmas to you all. Just remember to enjoy the people in your life. That's the main thing. Forget the stressful stuff and have a Merry Christmas. Hey guys, howdy. Hi there, welcome back to our House of Wellness Christmas special. You know, we've been chatting a bit about the fabulous traditions of the festive yes. season. We should look at maybe a couple of the bad ones, like overindulging on food and drink. I know, can you tell? I have been eating a little bit much. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but you know what? We can do a little pre-party preparation. Now, uh -huh. I don't have all the answers, but thank goodness GQ is in the house. Hello Zoe. Hello, Hello Ed and what a fun time. We're yeah. all of our friends here. Now what happens if we overdo it? How can you help us out here? There's going to be a lot of hangovers this festive season, right? Mm -hmm. Alleviate the symptoms. The issue really is that people who don't drink all that much, Ed, usually find this is a really challenging time. So it's a matter, it's not a, it's not a sprint. This is a marathon. You pace yourself, you be sensible, you be nice <laughs> and keep the hydration going all the minute. time. I thought you were about to say prepare for the marathon and start drinking yeah. earlier. No, I but didn't I'm glad say that. that you didn't. I know this is a major problem for me and probably everybody else <laughs> is that we overindulge at Christmas time with all this amazing food. I don't know how to press the stop button, Gerald. What do I do? My go-to there, Zoe, is ginger. Ginger actually is a settler. It's a tummy settler, peppermint, another tummy settler. There are some options available. Thank you, GQ. He's always got the answers. He does. Now, it's meant to be a fun time of year, right? But for some, it's quite stressful. Sticking to Christmas budgets, getting to all these parties. Uh, the stress can build up. Well, it is Christmas angst, isn't it? Yeah. And Dr Ali Walker has the answers for us. For many, Christmas is the most stressful time of the year. There's the financial stress, the cooking stress, family stress and the emotional stress of not living up to expectation. Here at number 83, there's a lot going on. It's just one of nine million homes around Australia preparing for Christmas. And what's happening here is happening in homes all around the country. It's festive tension. Meet the Stevensons, a typical Aussie family preparing for Christmas madness. Mummy and Daddy. I imagine with three children, you've got so many things going on. We also have um, extended family, so my immediate family, these guys, and my my family from uh, my side all come over. And usually we have lots of cousins here as well, so it's pretty chaotic. I love Christmas. But lucky it only happens once a year. It's supposed to be a relaxed time of celebration with family and friends, but more often than not, it ends up being a crazy panic on Christmas Eve to wrap all the presents at midnight and then a mad rush on Christmas morning to get all the food on the table. Yes, Christmas is always busy. And because it breaks routines, it can feel like everything is getting out of control. So, rather than doubling your efforts to wrestle back that control, remind yourself to go with the flow. If it's wrapping presents that's getting you down, use large gift bags or oversized stockings instead of paper. Make it fun. Whatever you do, don't worry about what other people may be thinking. Chances are they're just as busy as you. So with so much going on, do you ever have times where your activities clash or where there's overlaps between different events? We do actually, leading up to Christmas especially, there's a lot of class parties at school. So we do that sort of after school, but a lot of Christmas concerts. How do you fit it all in? We just do it, it's a mess everywhere. We just do it, we just love it. 
We all know that families seem to fight more at Christmas, but why is this? Known as hyper-co-presence, it occurs when people are forced to spend a lot of time together after being apart all year. But there's a few simple steps to make this easier on everyone. It's likely that pent-up anger may find its release valve at the end of year celebrations. So, if the emotions are building and that pesky rello is driving you nuts, be mindful before you react. And keep the alcohol under control. Maybe offer fancy soft drinks as a substitute. And if you remember that Christmas is a time to share love, forgiveness and goodwill, the stress demons will lose their power. And Ali's still here with us. Gosh, there were some great tips in there. What's causing all the stress? Well, it's a little bit like the lead up to a wedding. You know, the big yeah. day, everyone's a part of it, everyone's got a role to play and everyone gets very stressed about the expectations of Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you know what? Those tricky family members they make things stressful. What do we do with them? Well, there's this great term that's just been invented by sociologists called hyper-co-presence. I love it. And basically, it's, it represents this idea that we are apart all year and then we come together with our entire family living in each other's pockets for one day or one week of the year. Hyper-co-presence. It. It's actually insane when you mention it, like you put it together like that. I, we shouldn't do that. I think we embroider <laughs> it on next year's Santa Stock. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that, Ellie. Now, whether your man is naughty or sporty or just too damn nice, and let's face it... All three. Two, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Zoe and Fernando have teamed up to find him just the perfect gift. OK, Fernando and I have found you five gifts for the women in your life. Now it's time for five fab gifts for the guys. So, Zoe, for the guy who needs that clean shave, this is the perfect product for Well, you know, all that kissing underneath the mistletoe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the Nasho product has got the shaving cream and also the, the shaving brush. Beautiful. It's absolutely perfect. What about the man that likes to keep a bit of stubble? Well, between you and me, I think we've got that covered. Mm -hmm. This is the all-in-one hair trimmer and beard trimmer. You know, I'm not sure about Benji, but I hate shaving. Yeah. So this for me is absolutely perfect. And you know what, man? You have no excuse to look raggedy no. when it does it all. Your nose, your ears, your head. Here it is. Now, Fernando, I don't know if you're like me, but Christmas means kissing. Yes. So, this is very essential in my household. Honestly, with 25,000 strokes a minute, it's going to get in and out inside every single one of those crevices, which is absolutely perfect. Don't forget to brush that tongue, Uncle exactly. Ed. Fernando, you did not tell me you have your own fragrance. Zoe, you're too kind. I wish I looked like Cristiano Ronaldo. He's actually come out with two fragrances. Okay. So we've got Legacy and then we've also got Private Edition. All right. So for the man in your, in your world or your brother, your husband, yeah. if they want to look good, feel great and smell amazing, this is the perfect gift idea. I got one of those, man. So, Zoe. Yeah. I think I found our last gift idea. Okay. So for the man that needs moisturiser, Yes. Deodorant and body wash. this has got everything. That is the one-stop shop. Exactly. And it comes in this awesome little toiletry bag as well. Oh, my gosh. And it's a nice price. I think we've done all of my men's shopping. We're good to go. There you go. Coming up, we have the ultimate healthy Christmas lunch. And later, I'll be showing you how giving to others actually gives you the greatest gift of all. We are loving Christmas. We hope you're loving being in the House of Wellness. Hi everyone. Merry Christmas here from the House of Wellness. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't have to say Merry Christmas. Yeah. It's, a lot, it's a lot to say. Hi, it's Anna here. I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas to all the team at the House of Wellness. Merry Christmas everyone and to the House of Wellness team. It's now time to cook up a House of Wellness Christmas feast. Starting with a very Aussie lemon myrtle chicken, salmon with fennel, and a sugar-free ham glaze. Merry Christmas, everyone. Joining me in the House of Wellness kitchen is Mark Beretta. Now, Mark, Sorry? there's a little bit of background as to why you're part of the House of Wellness family. Mm. And um, has a little bit to do with Ed Phillips and you being flatmates. Long time ago, though, not now. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We started in radio together at Triple M. And we spent a lot of time living together. In fact, when I moved to Sydney, uh, my wife stayed in Melbourne to pack up and she lived with Ed, so I trust him. 100%. Hang on, hold He's on, that sort of guy. Hold on, hold you on. Dish the goss, dish yeah, the goss. We'll get to that later. <laughs> we'll I'll save the good stuff. Let's Christmas this up. Oh, Zoe, that, that is think? beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, my Christmas really. apron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got the spirit now, I'm ready to go. We're going to start with the Christmas chicken, which means gloving up. Um, please go on. <laughs> You're yes. doing a great job with that one. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> 
Once I've massaged my lemon myrtle with margarine flavoring into the skin, Mark will fill the chook with my rye berry and mustard stuffing. And for those of you who love ham, I've come up with a sugar-free glaze that is absolutely delicious. Go to our website for all the details. Could a little bit of whiskey go in that glaze or not at all? I think it can if you'd oh, like. Great. <laughs> I would like that. So. I'm chicken not going to say no. That looks fantastic. Okay. Done, you have done a great job stuffing that chicken. So, that goes into the oven and we're ready for the next dish, which is a whole salmon stuffed with baby fennel, herbs, garlic and verjuice. While I stuff this, I'm going to get you actually wetting the newspaper. Okay. So, this is a little bit different. Um, I've just got standard newspaper, yes. obviously. And yep. you want to have Ooh, about three... Form guide from Gosford. <laughs> The wet newspaper will encase our salmon to trap the flavours and juices while it roasts. One, two, three, go for it. Before we finish up, let's hear one of the stories from the 90s when Ed and Mark were up and coming radio stars. We went out one night and um, he'd said to me, this girl, Rachel, he said, you've got to meet her. Uh, she said, he said, if you don't meet her, you'll, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. So I did. <laughs> anyway, we organised then to go out for a dinner date. And Ed and I at that time, uh, we had some Vouchers for Crown Casino. Oh, I love it. And we took out a lovely Vouching. meal on vouchers for Crown <laughs> Casino. So Rach knew from the start what she was in for. And how many years later? Uh, 16. Nice. Yeah. So Ed was definitely the helping hand in getting you guys Oh, together. he is the perfect matchmaker. Yeah, he, the man nice. is an angel. No, hang on, let's not, let's <laughs> not flash that, his ego too much. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to go into the oven. Get Off it in? Go. OK, to the wood-fired oven. To the wood-fired oven. On my way. <laughs> and don't forget... All the recipes from our House of Wellness Christmas Feast are in detail and with extended videos on our website. There is something really beautiful about the spirit of Christmas because traditionally it's the one time of year that we all stop what we're doing and start thinking about others. And I'm not talking about presents under the tree. Aussies love to volunteer. At last count, on average, just over six million of us volunteer our time and effort around the country every year, especially at Christmas. And here in Sydney's King's Cross at the Wayside Chapel, the Christmas spirit is thriving. The Wayside Chapel has been providing unconditional love, care and support for Sydney's homeless people and those on the margins of society since 1964. Every week, 600 active volunteers keep the place running 24-7, providing people with meals, showers, clean clothes and a place to sleep. And every Christmas, the Wayside volunteers put on a festive early breakfast and a huge street party for Christmas lunch for locals in need. But it's the experience of volunteering itself that keeps people coming back to the Wayside. With all the commercialism this time of the year, sometimes it can feel like we've really lost that true meaning of Christmas. But I've got great news. Just by donating your time or your money to a worthwhile cause, you can actually give yourself the greatest Christmas gift of them all. And it's called the Helper's High. People who volunteer report increased feelings of well-being with higher levels of health, happiness, calmness and self-esteem and much lower levels of stress, fatigue, helplessness and depression. So have you got a big smile on your face after your, your morning? When I start eating I will be, yeah. <laughs> if I have to get through this part it'll be okay but uh, I think I will be and I think we'll go back to work with a, a smile on my face and, and look back on the, the day and maybe do it again next year. Ruth, tell me, why do you volunteer? Um, I volunteer because it's a really good way to um, get in contact with my community, to give back. Uh, feels really good and it's usually quite fun. <laughs> of course, all this reciprocation of goodwill is well known to Wayside Chapel's Head of Community Development, Guy Cooper. Can you explain to me please the paradox of giving? The paradox of giving is that if I give something away, our brain would tell us we have less. But experientially and the research shows that we receive more by giving. Now this is something that you can't teach, you can only learn. And someone who knows firsthand the benefits of giving is comedian and author Joe Stanley. 
Jo, I hear that you love to volunteer. I do, Lynette, and I consider myself fortunate to be able to do that. You know, when you go along and you volunteer for the Smith family and you're packing their food hampers, which they send out at Christmas time to lots of different families, and you go along to this huge warehouse and lots of people are there and it's just got a really amazing vibe and you're meeting people you wouldn't normally meet. You're connecting with lots of different people from your community and it feels great. It's just a fun thing to do. So in the true spirit of Christmas, I'm here at Westmead Children's Hospital to meet some of the kids and their families who unfortunately will be calling this place home at Christmas time. Unfortunately, Lynette, we would have hundreds of families that would still need to be here in the hospital for Christmas. We'd work really hard to make it as festive and fun as possible, but unfortunately it's still a really difficult time for families to be here. Well, I've learnt a lot about giving here today. Look what we've got for you! Let's go. Hello to all of you guys. We've got a nice surprise for you just in time for Christmas. Thanks to the lovely folks at Chemist Warehouse. This truck is full of some $10,000 worth of toys and presents to make your stay here in hospital just a little bit better. So come on, gather around. We're going to hand them out. Okay, Wally, come name. this way. Wally, I'll walk you. Annette, do you think that today has made a difference to these families? Yeah, I think it's made a tough stay for them really a lot easier and I think it will mean so much for them at Christmas. Great story. I mean, that was an emotional and amazing day out at Westmead and I'm keen to see what your reaction was to Lynette, being a mum at what is a really important time for kids at Christmas. So many kids stuck in hospital. Yeah, as a mum going out there and seeing the kids and their families and a lot of them, like you said, they won't be home for Christmas mm. and seeing sick kids at any time of the year is heartbreaking, but at Christmas especially. So um, I encourage anyone out there to go and donate your time and, yeah, just try and get involved. And that's a, such an important part is the giving, isn't it? And six million Australians give their time and their money every year. What is it about the giving? It's called the Helper's High, and even just wow. talking about it brings <laughs> this big smile onto my face. When you donate your time or you donate, um, you know, money even, you do know that you're doing a good thing. So psychologically and physically, you just get this big smile on your face and it's really nice to see that you're helping someone who might not be having such a great mm. Christmas. Yeah, the Helper's High, that's a great note to go out on. Stick around with us, more joy to come. Christmas lunch, the healthy way, continues with Zoe and Barrettes. This time, it's the ultimate Christmas salad. And our two Christmas elves have gift ideas for your girls and toys for the boys. It's Christmas in the House of Wellness. Let's head back to the House of Wellness kitchen where Mark Barretta and I are going to whip up a hemp seed creamy salad dressing and delicious Christmas veggies. Mm. I love to use the baby version because it looks beautiful for one thing yeah. and that's really important, but nutritionally it's got more flavour, sweeter yeah. and a little bit more of that nutritional profile. While Mark chops the rosemary, I'll add the smashed garlic and something a little bit different, I'm going to add some fennel seeds. OK. And I'm also going to add some cumin seeds. I love using different aromats. Sprinkle on the salt and loads of Australian extra virgin olive oil. Best in the world. Gee, I love the way you don't hold back with that, Zoe. It's love beautiful, isn't it? Oil. Yeah. The rosemary gets mixed through and it's into the oven with the chook. And now for our creamy salad dressing featuring hemp seeds. I am a massive fan of using this in our diet. They're full of omega-3 fatty acids, they've got beautiful protein in them, but why they're good in cooking or as a replacement for dairy is they've got that creamy texture and nature to it. So it's really, really yummy. Tell me a little bit about your health story because I sure. know that health means so much to you as well. Yeah, well, I, I just find trying to keep up with the kids at, at 13 and 10, you have to... You I've got a three-year-old, that's hard. Yeah. 13 and 10 sound impossible to me. And I've taken up bike riding in the last few years too. Yes, you have. So you, I mean, I've got to say, this is something I find incredibly impressive, the amount of money that you've got, you've actually yeah, donated to the cure. or helped. Yeah, yeah. The... we've um, funded about 225 Australian research projects, wow. had 22 major international breakthroughs That's in nice. cancer research, and really good. all by Australian researchers, which is fantastic. 
All right, so I'm going to get you to come and give this a little bit of a blend. Oh, whiz. <laughs> Why Woo. not? The hemp seeds are blended with extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar and cashew nuts, then poured over your salad just before serving. Now, when it comes to Christmas traditions in the 21st century, hearing the same old Christmas carols every year can get dull. So, we're writing our very own, with a little help from some experts. If you were going to write a Christmas song that would make all the kids in the world happy, what do you think it would be about? Rock and roll. Rock and roll? <laughs> Christmas stuff, happy stuff and lollies. <laughs> now, if we got a big pop star, to sing that for Christmas, who would you pick? Mm, Justin Bieber. <laughs> he he, he might sing it that um he might not sing it that well, but yeah, it'll kind of go quite good. I want to try Jingle Bells. I don't know anything, and if I knew, then I would do up. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Anything rhyme with Santa? Manta. Fanta. What rhymes with joy? Moy. Toy. What rhymes with jolly? Uh, jelly and jog. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ollie. 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 Hmm. Ollie. Nolly. Col college. <coughs> Painter. Dandy. Painter. 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 Well, when will we? I wouldn't make it that silly mm. if I could think of something that could rhyme. Mm. So, Zoe, for all our little girls, we've actually got three great gifts, starting off with the glitter fairies. Oh! Absolute fun in the bathtub. You have to make bathing fun because it, sometimes I don't want to get in. Exactly. OK. Second up, why don't you make your little best friends gorgeous little handmade bracelets. Hours and hours of fun there. Heaps and heaps of options that I absolutely love. Gorgeous, fashionable. And then last up, we've actually got Gwen Stefani's collection of fragrances. So there's about... This is good for teens, right? Absolutely. I think they're, they're so much fun. They've all got cute little stories. They smell really fun. They're really fresh. And they're all cute little bottles. I absolutely love them. Gorgeous. So, Zoe, we've got some awesome little gift ideas for all the boys in our lives. Oh, OK. Show me for the boys. I want to start off with this really cool little helicopter. Ah! They would love that. Which I think that. is super cool. But I absolutely love... The quad chopper. You know what? I know some little girls would love this too, actually. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, I think is. I need one for my dad. And then last but not least, I reckon we've got a really cool idea for all the kids for the beach. Yes, it's summer. Build their sand castles to their heart's content. I think we've pretty much got everything we need. I think we've covered all of the gift ideas. I do have to get Uncle Ed's toothbrush, though, so oh, yes. let's, let's grab it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Later, the perfect Christmas pudding. Guilty pleasure not included. Coming up, I've got some tips on how to survive the Christmas season and keep smiling. Stay with us. Loads more festive fun here on the House of Wellness. Welcome back. Look, we all know it's the silly season, right? There's so many places to be, things to do, so much fun to be had in the sun. Yes, but while we're having so much fun, it's also important to sometimes be wary, Ed. Yes. So we sent our friend Caroline Pemberton to navigate, find that way to enjoy the festive season safely. This Christmas, literally thousands of Aussies will be leaving work behind and heading off to somewhere special. But if we're going to make it through the holiday season in one piece, we're going to need to take a few precautions. Growing up, Christmas was always the best. Mum and Dad would take time off work and my brothers and I were on school holidays and we would just always come down to the beach. And I'm pretty pedantic about sunscreen now, but growing up, it just wasn't an issue. Hey, Mum, I think my sunscreen's coming off. Oh, you'll be OK for a little while, Caroline. A little bit of sun's good for you. OK! Australia has the highest incidence of skin cancer in the world and statistics show that one in eight adults and one in five teenagers get sunburnt on an average Aussie summer weekend. The message has been the same for a while now, which is basically slip, slop, slap. That's the easiest message. Put on a long sleeve shirt if you've got it, a long sleeve rashie, um, a cap and plenty of sunscreen. About a teaspoon on each of your limbs, preferably 20 minutes before you get into the sun. Ever since I was like three, we'd be down here mucking around, running right, and I can still hear my dad's voice in my head harping on about these guys. Dad, 
Can I go for a swim? Sure, Caroline. Just make sure you're between the flags. OK. Yep, that's good. Last summer, 69 people drowned in Australian pools, rivers and beaches. First and foremost, swim at a patrolled beach. Also, be mindful of diving into the surf. A shallow sandbar can occur anywhere, and every year lifeguards deal with almost as many spinal injuries as they do drownings. Why is it so important for us to pay attention to the flags? The flags are set at the safest area to swim. So swimming between the flags means that you're going to be swimming in the safest area and outside the flags there's potentially rip currents which can be dangerous. So rips are easily identified by there's no waves breaking over them. It's generally deeper water where the rips are so the water might be darker. What are your three top tips to keeping us safe? Definitely number one would be to swim between the flags. Make sure that you're aware of where the rips are and to just swim within your ability. Most important, swim between the flags. The other thing I loved about Christmas was when Dad would get his pride and joy out of the garage and would bundle in and hit the road as a family. It was just epic. Are we there yet? We're getting there, darling. How many sheep can you count? Driving at Christmas is the riskiest time on Aussie roads. 40 people died last Christmas alone. So take a break every two hours. Turn off the phone. Distractions can be deadly. Watch your speed and, of course, buckle up. Christmas is a great time to spend with all of those people that you love. So put away the phone, ignore the emails, and whether you're at the beach or in the car, remember to take care of each other and have an awesome holiday. Back to the House of Wellness kitchen for our last course, a sugarless Italian rice and nut cake. I absolutely love this cake. And no sugar. No sugar That's at all. Fantastic. And we're just going to put a little bit of candied orange and we're going to put some cherries. It's Christmas. The recipe is quick and easy. Just add rice to hot milk, simmer and cool. Combine the eggs with honey, then blend in the cooled rice and add vanilla, nuts, sultanas, along with the zest and olive oil and bake for about an hour. So, Mark, I've got my candied orange and I'm going to give you the cherries, but oh, tell me... Good choice. What does Christmas mean to you? Christmas is so much fun, isn't it? It's just a great time. It's at one time of the year where you put on the brakes and you <laughs> spend time with the family. You're obviously not the one in the kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, true. I haven't way. had the brakes applied. <laughs> but it's just a great time, is it? Just to catch up with family and friends yeah. and, you know, and to spend it with your, your own kids. Um, they're always up so early in the morning at that little pitter patter of feet. All right, I've got is my it? candied orange. Time for my cherries, yeah? Now let you pile those cherries on. Just pile them on. Just pile them on. By the handful. By the handful. Mark, thank you so much for being my assistant oh, today. Thank I've you. absolutely loved it. We've done some awesome recipes, and I cannot wait for the rest of the House of the Wellness team to try these. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they love them. They are going to love it. This cake looks fantastic, and should it's a perfect Christmas treat. Should we take it out there? Take it away. <laughs> Yum. Later, healthy care ambassador and TV superstar Kerry Ann Kennelly has a Christmas Kris Kringle for you. And you'll be surprised. She's our glorious Bon Bon. See you soon. Voila! Yay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Here's a little something for lunch. <laughs> Just incredible. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you, Zoe, for what looks like an incredible Christmas lunch. Oh, it's my pleasure. <sighs> what a spread for our wellness family and mm -hmm. our growing family. Sunrise Sports guru Mark Beretta. In our 25 years of friendship, Barretts, I've never <laughs> actually seen you in the kitchen, so oh, I'm surprised. Mostly, as you know, I'm there to eat. But uh, it was great to work with Zoe and come up with something special and get some inspiration for Christmas time. Wow. And I know this time of year, uh, Christmas is important for what is a big family of yours. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot happening in the world of sport. We've yeah. got cricket and tennis and Sydney Hobart, but isn't Christmas all about the kids? Absolutely. It is about... The kids <laughs> and Lynette, your house, two busy girls, Christmas morning. What is it like? It is chaos, but it's beautiful chaos. So the girls get up early. They're always so excited about Santa and presents and seeing family. But yeah, basically it's their day. But Ali, that's probably what all families are like, yeah, I would I say. Families all around Australia are nodding their heads at the moment. <laughs> but isn't it magical to see the looks on their faces all day through Christmas? It's just amazing. 
Not every family, though, has its own resident pharmacist, Cheryl. Thank goodness for you. It's a busy time, Ed. It's an exciting time. But it's all about moderation, isn't it, Fernando? <laughs> I mean, I do love a glass of champagne and to party, but hate to owe all the way. <laughs> Caroline, first Christmas as a newlywed. Plenty of adventure and action. We always get out there at this time of year and we're going to head backcountry skiing, a little bit of mountaineering. Wow. White Christmas. Go, girl. Well, that sounds very healthy. In fact, I don't think there's anything to feel too guilty about on this beautiful spread here. I know food's a big part of your life, Zoe. But I love cooking for my family and friends, so I'm just hoping you guys love the recipes. Mark, great addition in the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this all happened despite me. <laughs> now, look, we thought all good Christmas traditions start somewhere and we might celebrate our first House of Wellness Christmas together. So we're writing our very own Christmas carol. Whoa. Yes! Whoa. Now, thanks to the Creative Wonder Kids at Nicholson Street Primary School and the incredible Healthy Care Ambassador, the talented Kerry Ann Kennelly. Here is a first look at our House of Wellness Christmas Carol. Christmas is good for you. So, to get us started, we asked the kids we met earlier what would be some really cool lyrics for our very own Christmas Carol. Yes, it's really Really good for your brain. Um, elf and Superman singing in the tree. Farting out snowballs. <laughs> Rock and roll Santa. Even is proof on Google that Santa's real. Merry Christmas indeed. Wasn't that a fun little song? <laughs> that was so cute. Featuring the kids from the choir of the Redham House Primary School in New South Wales, including my son, was singing there. Oh, oh gorgeous yeah. little one. And the very talented Carrie Ann Kennelly as well. If you want a great last minute Christmas gift, her book, A Bold Life, is a good one to check Fantastic. out. Fantastic. And here we are at the end of the year and the end of our Christmas special. You know what? We've saved the best till last. And I've been trying to workshop names for the upcoming birth of your little one. I have. We've eaten, we've cooked, we've learned how to stay safe, but this is the big present. Oh. Here you go. Okay. Yeah. It's exactly <laughs> the name I was thinking. Yeah. I did. I've got something for you. You've oh. gone from being a participant to an observer for exercise across. So I want you to really let your hair down over Christmas. <laughs> with thanks, thanks, Joe. I've saved some room. Hey, listen, we know you're the cool cat here, yes. but as Ali said, it's a really stressful time of year, so we want you to stay safe. I've got you this, Well, mate. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what being with you all year has done to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. We are going to keep the gifts going. Mm -hmm. Yes. And right? I I've got some special things for everybody, some beautiful, beautiful herbal teas, Delicious. relaxing tea. So that's wow. for everybody before you go home. And we have one more surprise for you. We're going to go out with the kids from the choir once more with an oldie but a goldie to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And a special thanks to our family at Chemist Warehouse. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.